All right, I'm going to ask a question that I want people to think about for a moment and really think this through, and you're going to laugh when you realize how ridiculous this is. All right, you have successful methods that have decades of people in the fitness world, some of the fittest, most jacked people on the face of the earth for decades have done stuff like, oh, I'm going to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli. And they just adjust the amount so they want to gain weight and bulk or if they want to lose body fat. Simple, effective, cheap, even broke people can afford to eat this way if they need to, right? Time proven. No one wants to market it anymore. It's not marketed. All these other trendy goofball diets. Why? Because you can't market it. There's, there's no magic secrets. There's no way to write extra books. There's no way to make extra articles on it. We can't sell dozens of extra supplements to fill the deficiencies, right? Because it pretty well covers. You just add the most basic supplements to something like that, right? So if you want to add some dairy, you could add a low-fat dairy to it. Or some yogurt. Guys will drink milk if they want to bulk a little more on it. Add whey protein if they're really worried about calories, right? Cover some extra calcium. You use some fish oil, creatine. You're pretty well set. Okay? Right there, you're set. Maybe some D3. Almost anybody can follow an approach like that, irrespective of genetics, anything else, as long as you don't get bored of the diet. You could eat that way the rest of your life. Have easy, perfect weight control anytime you want. You need to make a water cut for competitions. You can always cut the carbs out or whatever. You know, you could replace the chicken with leaner cuts of steak. I mean, the rice could be replaced with some potatoes if you need to, but rice is easy to do. You can throw whatever vegetables you want in. But this is balanced, and it works. All the science would say, oh, yeah, it's a perfectly healthy way to eat. Starches, animal proteins, lots of vegetables. There you go. Beautiful, perfect. If you're struggling with satiety, add some extra vegetables in. If you're really struggling to gain weight if you need to on it, throw some clean fats and a little natural peanut butter, some natural almond butter, or some olive oil. All right, this has been done for decades, all through the lifting world. People who got into lifting who lost 100 pounds of fat and then got jacked. Add the most basic supplements, you're done. It's been demonized because people can't market it. How the hell do you sell that? No, no, seriously, how do you sell that? How do you make money on it? You can buy everything at the grocery store and you only need the most basic supplements. We don't need any keto support. You're not going to need all this GI tract support because, you know, you mess your gut up on these other diets. We don't have to add all these vegan products to try to get enough protein, the B12, all this. You don't need any of this stuff. And all these diets would still need the same supplements you would add on there because they're beneficial to everybody, right? Fish oil, not eating fish every day, you should take it. Everyone benefits from creatine, so on and so forth. I mean, do you really want to, how do you market this? Unless you do stand efforting with the vertical diet. He managed to market it. Dude, that's some marketing brilliant. He managed to market steak and rice and vegetables. <laughs> and made a fortune on it. More power to him. Yeah. Because here's the kicker. Almost anyone can eat it. What do you mean? This is the sort of diet doctors have used to get people off of meds for who have type 2 diabetes, okay? Put that in context. It's the sort of diet has been used to almost cure type 2 diabetes. They can eat it. Cardiac patients, they can eat it. People with celiacs, gluten intolerance, they can eat it. There's no gluten in it. Rice is low FODMAP. Oh, you have certain gut issues, you can just change the vegetables to a lower FODMAP vegetable. You're done. All right, anybody can follow this. All right. But how are you going to market that? Okay. Oh, get a, your minimum protein requirements from the lean meat. Get all your vegetables in and then fill the rest of your calories with rice every day. Adjust as needed to see the changes in scale weight up or down that you want to see. How do you write a diet book on that? 
That's like one page. I could write that in one page. It would be a pamphlet. It'd be a pamphlet called the Bro Pamphlet. We don't need a Bible. Right? We just need a little pamphlet like they give out at the, the front of a church service. How do you make whole videos? You need an hour video discussing this? Just adjust the rice. Scale the calories with the rice. And it works. But that's because this whole industry is full of bullshit artists. They're con men. All these keto people, all the vegan people, all the carnivore people. Hell, half, half of the flexible dieters. They're con men selling you useless garbage instead of the basics. Instead of the basics. It's like I've said before, it's hard to sell the basics. The basics aren't sexy. I mean, yeah, I do conjugate with a lot of my lifters and we use bands and chains and speed work, but not all my lifters. I don't even always do that stuff. I run long phases without it put up elite numbers in my late 40s. My God. The basics work. Basic training programming. Basic nutrition. Literally. Chicken, rice, broccoli. There you go. Just do the basis of your diet. And again, keep in mind, you can adjust based on satiety. If you can't get enough fat, right because you, you need more fat calories because you can't eat enough you have too low of an appetite and your energy turnover is insane because you gain so much muscle doing this Well, you could add peanut butter done that's it natural peanut butter or you could add a little bit of sugar to it so sweeter sauces there you go done can't have the sweeter sauces throw some mustard on it or some sriracha beautiful you're done so what do I do in social? Have a cheat meal. Have a cheat meal once a week. Whenever you're with other people, eat, go have the cheat meal. You're not going to get fat from one cheat meal. Just your food through the rest. Of the week. We're done. Let me instead. Let me restate that. Instead of adjusting your food, adjust your rice. That's it. Just your rice intake. Proven, effective. Thousands of people have done this for decades. Some of the people with the most impressive physiques on the earth, some of the people with the biggest lifts in the world, eat this way. Just fine. And again, many of them started as obese people. They got down lean. Well, there's no fat in the diet, except for the clean fat you add in. You're not gonna get fat that way, you can't. It works. You can't sell it unless you're stand efforting. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.